Is Bungie diminishing your XP gains and this really the first casualty of war when it comes to microtransactions in video games? Well, in this commentary, we'll talk about it. So, recently in Destiny 2, there's been a big, big discussion right in the last few days. I didn't see it when the news came out because I was too busy eating my turkey foods and all that good stuff. So, I was too busy with my family to do anything online. And then I get online, the guy... You know, once I get home and I see, what the heck is this about Destiny 2, you know, diminishing your XP gains? Well, it's actually kind of true. Uh, apparently, on uh, there's been some statistics found from a Redditor. He posted a thing saying, showcasing how over time your XP gained is diminished, up to 95% even. And they're, they're, people are kind of claiming that this is why, the reason why this is in the game is for people to give them more incentive to buy the bright engrams in the game for microtransaction purposes. Now, is it necessarily that? Well, let's see here. So, um, uh, first off, we'll uh, do this here. We'll show you the graph right here. So this is a graph that uh, the Redditor made. Sorry for pale mode engaged right here, but whatever. Um, you can see that there's a, certainly a curve right here, if I can bring my cursor over, there's a curve right here, let's see, this is time played right here on the bottom, and this is exper experience gained. And so you would think, naturally, that there would be a linear just, uh, growth just going right across the board, like boom, no problem, like straight across. But what you can see, obviously, there is a curve to this where it almost just levels out to almost nothing. And that's because... Over time, see this person played for three and a half hours right here, and this was gaining minimal amount of experience. And especially with the Clarion call that just happened, uh, people have been grinding out experience, trying to level up their characters, you know, so it totally makes sense. And this is probably why this was brought up to everyone's attention now. Now, the reason why this caused such a big uh, discussion within Destiny community is because XP and is directly tied to uh, bright engrams and bright engrams are things you can buy in the game so is this is this Bungie's way of incentivizing players to go you know what i just need to buy these these bright engrams to get these cosmetics that i want and so with uh microtransactions being the hottest topic in video games right now thanks to ea and battlefront 2 or sorry, I should say EA destroying Battlefront 2 because it looked like I played it. I rented it. I played it. It seemed like a really fun game, but the microtransactions and the star cards just ruined the entire gaming experience, which is terrible because it looked really fun to play and it was fun to play. And so I and so a big a community in Destiny has been given a big hoopla about this. Like, why am I experienced? Uh, points being diminished over time. I'm playing your game. You should re, re rewarding me just as much and so with the uh, yeah obviously the hot button topic of microtransactions so you can see how this could be a, you know trying to incentivize players to do that bungie went ahead and has removed this uh capping of not necessarily capping but your diminishing of your experience gain saying um that this was uh, not playing out bungie left wrote a statement now i'm not gonna read the whole thing if you want to i will leave a link in the description to what uh destiny what bungie said in response and what they did and also the Redditor's thread as well, so you can give them some credit as well, because they, 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 they put in some work, and uh, I really appreciate them putting the effort into this. Uh, but basically, uh, Bungie came out saying that this uh, experience thing wasn't actually working out exactly how we planned, and so we removed it, but we kind of changed the experience gain for everything else as well. Uh, so you can't just, you know, grind out the game completely and learn all the th earn and earn all the things, basically, in the game. Now... Um, is this was this uh, implemented into the game so that incentivized people to buy uh, bright engrams, or was this incentivized or was it put into place so people who play a lot more than other players uh, they don't get an advantage and earn everything in the game? Where a more, more casual person who may only have a couple hours to play a week, um, you know, they don't get see feel, they don't get gypped out of earning all the things as much as someone who plays like four hours a day, let's say. Um, I think it might be a little bit of both in this situation. I think they're trying to find a way to uh, incentivize players to want to buy these bright engrams because obviously, you know, Bungie being a game that requires a lot of maintenance, a lot of attention brought uh, to it to constantly update the game. You know, there's going to be a lot of people working on it and you need to figure out a way to get more money into the game. 
Because sixty dollars for a game right now, it's not gonna cut it. Obviously, we have we pay for expansions and DLCs, things, DLCs and things like that. Which uh, with, with a game like Destiny, uh, you kind of have to buy the DLC to kind of stay uh, current and relevant in the game, which is sad. But I think that's kind of how these this thing kind of rolls when it comes to these uh, multiplayer loot and shoot kind of games. Uh, but um, or and I I don't I mean it's it's kind of tough for me to kind I can't fully judge on it. Um, uh, should players' experience be diminished over time? I don't think so. Um, of course, I haven't. We don't have all the data here to really make a firm statement on this. Uh, I can see why people will be upset, and I think since with the hot topic of loot boxes and microtransactions, I think Bungie uh, just went like, "Okay, we gotta get rid of it now." You know, we gotta say, make sure we're not in another EA situation here with the. Uh, loot boxes and so yeah uh, Bungie removed it but now they're like oh yeah Bungie's like oh yeah it's not working exactly how we thought it would work right now but I was like well now you think it's not working right when the community gets mad at you about it um no this is not it's working exactly how you thought it was working it's just that people got mad at you about it and then you changed it <laughs> by the way right here watch this I tried to jump through this stupid thing and I died because I didn't realize when I was first doing this section that uh, you can actually just walk to the right side and not have to jump. <laughs> and so, um, I, I don't know how I, f I don't know exactly what the reason is behind reasoning behind this, but I do feel like having just like three hours of gameplay. Well, here we can go back to the graph here while we're waiting for my character to load in. Um, you can see there's a, sig a significant uh, arch of loss of xp right around like the two hour mark right around here you can see like it's kind of you're gaining xp kind of like yeah you're losing it over time but not horribly but once you hit about this two hour mark of game time of doing activities mostly these were i think uh um especially like public events and things like that uh you really started to see a decline in uh experience gained now is this so is Destiny a game really meant to be played like two hours a day, where some people definitely would play more? I don't know, but uh, it seems like it's a little bit too severe of a grind, especially with the Clarion Call that recently happened with Destiny 2, like it incentivizing people to grind the game out here. That, uh, you know, obviously when you have double XP, people are going to grind the hell out of your game because they're like, well, this is my most effective time to use most effective time to play the game if I'm trying to get experience points. And when Destiny basically caps your XP, essentially, after two hours of game time, uh, that seems rather soon. Uh, I can imagine doing it after, like, four hours or something like that, just so people who, like, no life on the game can, you know, don't unlock everything or and don't have an advantage over players who don't have all the time in the world to play. Oh, look at this right here. The, 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 the platform just disappeared on me again. Like, what the hell? <laughs> And so, um, I think it's cer certainly has some way to affect of, you know, trying to incentivize players really get into the grind of getting these bright engrams, especially since that's kind of like the end game at the moment right now. I haven't really actually really been playing a lot of Destiny 2 right now, mainly because I've kind of accomplished everything I wanted to do, uh, unless I just want to make a Hunter level 300 as well, but, uh, for now, I've kind of really just done everything I wanted to do. I mean, getting all the exotic engrams or exotic weapons and gear was actually rather easy in this game. I felt that they were just kind of handing them out way too easily. That's just my opinion, though, on that. And, um, yeah, man, just... I think this is just going to be that... Ca it's. I think the community might have been a little overreacting on this situation, possibly. Uh... But I think with the recent hot topic of microtransactions in games, and this is a uh, mechanic mechanism in Destiny 2 where it's directly tied no, directly tied to microtransactions, I can see why the community was just rage already like flipping out, going like, "What the hell is this? Why did you do this? Oh my god!" So overall, yeah, not uh, not the best thing to find out about your game when, <laughs> but. Um, uh, it's, I understand why they implemented it, just so then, but, uh, that I already said, but, uh, um, I do think that it got a little too soon, a little too harsh on the experience gain, like, after two hours, you started to really see some diminishing, uh, returns in experience, which is a little too soon, in my opinion, but, um, that's just my, th that's just my thought on the whole thing. 
What are your guys' thoughts on this whole situation? Do you think it was a good idea to, to you know, put a cap, when well, that soft cap, like a soft cap or diminishing return on, on experience, so then people who play a lot don't get way far ahead of people who don't have the time or have the opportunity to play as much as some other people? Or do you think this was just uh, Bungie's uh, secret secret way to try to incentivize people to uh, you know buy these bright engrams? Uh, I do think having a 95% diminished return is a bit harsh. <laughs> I can understand like 50% over a certain amount of time just because, you know, you, you know, you got to put these caps into these games because there's people out there who love playing Destiny, love playing these games that will just do, spend their entire life grinding things out like this. And so you don't want the people who know life on the game to have a clear advantage of people who can't, you know. And so that's my thought. Uh, my thoughts on it is... Uh, all the information isn't in and I don't think we'll ever have a full true reason why this was implemented into the game because obviously it just doesn't look good. It just doesn't look good for Bungie when that, to do this to the players, but I can understand it. But on the other hand though, it just, uh, it just doesn't look good. And I think this is that, like I said earlier, the first casualty of war when it comes to these uh, microtransactions and games and because of EA and how bad they were. Anyways guys, Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see more content like this. And if you uh, want to see some more content, click on the videos right above me. Subscribe for more content. Tap that notification. Let you know every time I upload awesomeness to this channel. We'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.